How do? Villa touching. Today I am playing another parent warrior from back in 1988. I'm playing Vixen by Martek. Oh, look, music by well, Sonic by JC Brooke. Uh, oh, I rented this from our local library because uh, I couldn't afford it. So I haven't played this episode from well, two weeks back in about 1988. So I have to get the gist of it. For those that don't know Vixen, other than its box art, uh, when Corrine Russell Patry Stunner in a itty bitty leopard print bikini. Uh, you play uh, the last of humanity on planet. What is it? Planet. Planet something. I want to say Leslie Grantham. Uh, you play Corrine Russell uh, play Patry Stunner, last of humanity, raised by magical foxes. Uh, and this planet is. Has now been overrun by dinosaurs, and you are the last human alive. And it's your job now, I shit you not, to remove the dinosaurs from this planet and restore humanity to its once great position. Though how you're going to do that alone with a number of foxes is beyond my comprehension. Uh, you do that with a whip, uh, and you go through this level, which, which I will be honest memory serves me right looks exactly the shitting same uh, you go through the level whipping boulders and uh, balls on our chain to get fox heads which lead you to turn into a fox once you get into a warren you have to get enough, enough fox heads uh, to get to the end of the line you see on the top uh, you've got uh, a fox head going along a bar quite macabre that collecting foxes on a chain once you get to the warren you've got enough fox heads on the line you'll turn into a fox. However, I've not done too well here. I've lost all my lives as well. Tell you what, if I die in a minute, which I expect to, because albeit the animation is quite gorgeous, uh, the, the response on the keys is a bit sluggish, I'll be totally honest. It really is. These enemies spawn stupidly but I do like the way they kill themselves if they wander off look at that tit right let's get over that oh see I press turn right all sage power <laughs> sage power right I'm going back in so we know what we're doing I am woman raised on planet Leslie Grantham I've lost uh, all humans raised by magic foxes uh, I've got to uh, wipe out all dinosaurs uh, you know, because uh, and I can turn into a fox. Hopefully, hopefully, I will do uh, some smartness and get to the place where I can turn into a fox. Hopefully, I'll do better than what you just witnessed. To be honest with you, the selling point for this game, albeit as I said, the graphics and the animation of our protagonist here is rather grand. The selling point for this game, like game over. Though the play, though I say the graphics are better than uh, yeah the graphics are better than Game Over. The selling point here was the furore of uh, having Corinne Russell with a Norx out on the front cover. I know a lot of people wrote to Yours and Claire. I remember the letters in Yours and Claire of the angry parents saying, "My son will never buy your rag again." Look at that crouch then. Nope, still not enough fox heads. No gem bonus. Picked up gems along the way, you cheeky bugger. Right, let's go back out. Let's go and smack some dinosaurs in the mouth. All I want to do is turn into a fox. So you can see me look like a vixen. The namesake of the game. That looks a bit Monty Pythonish, that dinosaur. These dinosaurs aren't half weird. It's a good game. It is. And given that, the, the makers of said game, whose names escape me right now, I really should have wrote them down. But they are under low. We'll, we'll look at the initial opening screen in a minute. I know they made Jeff Capes and stuff like that. Uh, the makers of the game did make the graphics of said uh, Vixen quite good. Mine's with Transfer the Last Stone Trooper. I wonder if they're involved in that. Should have checked. Oh, look. The fox head's at the end of the bar. Now, if I can get to my Warren, uh, I should be able to. Uh, turn into a fox if I can get to my warren that is 
Uh, this no, next bit involves me jumping platforms here, which I'm never good at. Oh, I did it! Huzzah! Collecting gems, getting dinosaurs in the face. Oh, there's Warren. Look at that crouch. It's good to crouch that. Yep, should be turning into a fox now. Turn into a fox. There we go. Uh, now, how do I. What? Oh, I've never picked up a gem. I've got, I think I've got to hit. F yes. Got to hit fire. Now, if I remember rightly. Now, again, this is ages old. Is it the white ones give me the gem bonus? Let's have a look. Yeah, the white ones are the only ones that give me the gem bonus. Like I say, I only had lent this for two weeks from the library. So, I've got to. The, wasn't there a white one down here a minute ago? Yes, there is. Now, I get gem bo bonuses from this. So let's see if we can get out in time. I've got to get back now to the end of the warren. There's another white one. Oh, that's a whip. What does the whip do? Christ, oh, then he dropped in the water. See, that wasn't concentrating. Too busy speaking to you, that. There we go. Nice transformation as well. Gem bonus two. Time bonus, not much. But you know what? I don't care. It's good graphics. It's good graphics. Oh, see? The gameplay, oh, different dinosaur. The gameplay is exactly the same. It's fairly monotonous. Go and kill the elders of the dinosaurs. Oh, they did. Kill the elders of the dinosaurs in a hundred sort of way. I am truthfully glad. Oh, oh, platforms. Oh, disco! <laughs> Oh, this girl! <laughs> Another poster, by the way. Another poster from Yours and Claire that informed my dad that I wasn't. Oh, well, that was red blooded male. Oh, free man. Well, a free vixen. Forgive me. Uh, another gem that counts as nothing. Have that weird looking dinosaur. Last life. Oh, oh. I thought I'd had it then. Don't pick up skull and bones, by the way. You all died it. Another Monty Python dinosaur. Level complete. We're on a roll here. Wonder if this will be another completion like the other day. I doubt it though. Look at my zero lives. Doing rather well, though every level. Oh, see that? Curse of the Ville. Curse of the Ville. Oh, there's the people that made it. Graphics by M. J. Smith and M. Eason. Well done, chaps. He did some good graphics there. He did some good graphics in these. Well, that was Vixen. I hope you enjoyed looking at it. If you've never seen it before, uh, if you had it, let me know. Did you complete it? Let me know. Uh, or did you just have it for the poster and I get on the box art? You pervert. TTFN, that's half an hour. Cheerio on, bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.